Greg, you're not going to electrocute us again this time, are not you? Not again. Oh! Here with uh, science expert Greg Foote. Greg Foote, the scientist. Well, this is proper science, isn't it? When you hear noise like this, you know it's science. He likes to teach us about stuff. This is a demo that NASA actually do. Oh, you can really hear yeah. it. World's first Brussels sprout-powered Christmas light. You're making a comment. Can't quite comprehend how we're going to do that. But... <laughs> yeah. How does this work? We want a demonstration. Oh. I can show you it better with something that um, everyone can try at home. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So this is your prefrontal cortex at the front Ow. of your brain. Sorry about that. Um, you can taste a bit if you like. That's where your short-term <laughs> memories lie. Sound wave is where the vibrations travel in the same direction as the motion of the wave. So like that. Ooh, you can see it flicking along. Yeah. It's all well and good seeing it with a slinky, but it's much better seeing it with fire. So that was showing you that sound is just a series of vibrations. You only got one shirt. So that is a different, <laughs> that is a different <laughs> shirt. And the size of the wave determines the frequency, the pitch. So when we go high, it sounds high. You've got a higher note and the wave is actually smaller. <laughs> I just like read and checked. <laughs> this is the football from this World Cup. It cuts through the air better than all other balls. Think of the old trusty golf ball. It's got dimples. The air actually tumbles off those dimples and kind of sticks to the ball for a little bit longer, mm. makes a smaller wake, smaller drag, travels faster and further. Wow. And that's why the brazooka has all these tiny weeny little dimples yeah. across oh, the top wow. of it. Really quick, easy, nice, fun demo you can do. Oh! Work out what the comet is made of. You might be able to work out what things were like at the beginning of the solar system. Dirt, dust, rock, water. Complex chemicals, ammonia, frozen gas. So they're like a roving time capsule. You go Like front. the top. <laughs> <laughs> You're mixing hydrogen with oxygen, you make water. It's a really lovely mm -hmm. bit of chemistry. Pop these on. So we've got three times the amount of oxygen in this tube as we have in this tube. This is Mount Everest, and this is down here at sea level. Like these. You are reacting that oxygen with that fuel. Now, the one from the summit of Mount Everest has gone out because it's run out of that oxygen. But if you get an external source oh, of electricity, <laughs> which obviously David Blaine was at risk of getting, it can cause your muscles to spasm because it overrides what's going on inside. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. So that is a low-level <laughs> shot. That's only, you know, a couple of hundred volts. So let's build it up a bit. This is 250,000 oh, yeah, volts. <laughs> Move it slowly towards the end of his finger. I don't want to. Man <laughs> up. Ah, there it is. 